International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. This paper is about helping healthcare to help itself. Healthcare is complex with differing patient pathways, varied disease trajectories served by multiple professions who more coordinate their work than actually collaborate. As time always is tight, there can be a reluctance to abandon established work practices and spend precious time on change projects with uncertain outcomes. Action research is participative, creates engagement and rarely has implementation issues as groups develop their own solutions and realize them. Action research is usually iterative, developing and testing solutions step by step in reality. Consequentially, action research can be time consuming and stakeholder positions and power issues may not always be resolved. The strength of integrating system dynamic simulations into action research is that it enables rapid testing of a high number of problem solutions using simulations discarding what seems less effective before testing in reality. The paper is a retrospective analysis of five cases in which I was involved. The academic research team behind the paper was multidisciplinary, involving action research, system dynamics and medical sciences. And apart from me included two full professors, one associate professor and a PhD with managerial experience. We identified two major phases in all five cases, both phases initially divergent then convergent. The first phase was extensive action research inspired, divergent and thorough problem identification, followed by a convergent problem structuring, leading to mutually agreed problem descriptions and objectives. The second phase began with divergent suggestions of solutions to the agreed problems, followed by a multitude of system dynamic simulations, testing the potential solutions, converting into mutually agreed solutions to be tested in reality. Group time was primarily spent on discussions and reflections, creating learning among both participants and the model facilitator. Modeling work was carried out iteratively between meetings. The models became neutral, power diffusing arenas where everyone's perspectives needed to be included to attain a model that could replicate reality and found acceptable to test future actions. Instead of stakeholders advocating positions, the focus was on building a working simulation model. The participants became more of shareholders. How could their particular knowledge contribute? Thus, the models became consolidated, case-specific, multi-professional, knowledge repositories. All cases began and ended similarly. The sequencing of intermediary steps differed based on pragmatic judgment of what best would move the group forward. All cases were situated in large organisational change and it is therefore difficult to assess implementation. The true measure of what success lies not only in what is achieved but in the power of continuous learning making a model a potent transitional object in the dynamic voyage of growth and knowledge. <laughs>